If I'm correct, we should now be doing the Svetlana stuff. I knew you were... Yes. Excuse me. A moment of your time? Can we help you? Roddy, we're leaving. D Only paying attention to the Svetlana lines. Everything else we don't care about. Um, I'm looking for someone. Her name is Shina Ninomiya. What? what? Oh, this is where you guys were. Wait, Lucille? Oh, it's you, Sheena. It really is you, Lucille. You made it. Sheena had arrived at a perfect timing, hugged the woman named Lucille, as they both expressed happiness. Sheena, who's this? Oh, sorry, Mai. Remember how I sent a text to That's great! Nice! Wait! If that is that's true from the outside. So, these are the girls I mentioned. I'm Svetlana Amil. I came to see Sheena, so here I am. Svetlana? Who's Lucille then? That is also my name. Lucille was her name in an online game, Mai. Is that so? I'm rotten. I'm Lu They're all so precious. Don't you think, Sheena? Of course I do, but I'm glad you agree, Lucille. Oops, I should call you Svetlana instead of Lucille. Either or, whatever's easier. So, are you in danger, Sheena? Yes, things are dire here. It's honestly a miracle I was able to reach you. Svetlana, it's not safe to talk out here, so could you join me at my house? Sure, I understand. There's a lot to explain. My... I know you know, but don't tell anyone about Svetlana. Say no more. It's... I won't even say I met... Call us! Even though you only... Uh, well, I... If you take too many detours... We'll be careful. That's for the best. We... Looking forward to... Oh, well, okay. That's pretty much it for the first thing with Svetlana. I'll if move on to the next thing for Svetlana. This starts differently than Eurysis. Hey Mai, I'm thirsty. Let's drive by that cafe. No way. Ah, you scared me. W why? Because it's noisy. I just don't like those places. There's delicious drinks and snacks. There's snacks? Liliana, you're too close. I'm sorry. So, Roddy, what kind of snacks are there? I'd say cookies and cakes and delicious juices and... That's wonderful. Mai, let's go. Fine. Why? You totally didn't want to go when I said so. My, let's hurry and go. Okay, okay, don't rush me. Eh? Why are you ignoring me? My! Oh. Svetlana, was it? I didn't expect to find you here. Yeah, I like this cafe. Would you like to join me? Sure, come on, Mai. Let's sit down and have some snacks. Gosh, fine. Svetlana was having tea on her own, and there was a lot of tea, a cake stand, and scones in front of her. Look at that amount! Do you eat a lot, Svetlana? No, I was just nodding to what the quirk was saying, and so much came out. Wow! Look at all these delicious snacks. I feel like we're in a jewelry store. You want to eat this with me? Can't we? Sure. I can. E I can't eat all this on my own. Then I'll take you up on your offer. Mmm. <laughs> it's so good. Why is she going? I. <laughs> Liliana, don't be so greedy. Look, you've got some cream on your face. Let me wipe it for you. I'm sure we. Whoa, my, my! Look at my cheeks. Do it yourself. Ah. <laughs> you three are so close. You think so? When I was in the facility in my country, kids avoided me because of my wishy-washy personality. It's not your fault. I'm sure your environment sucked. You can't control that kind of stuff. That's pure luck. See? I have bad luck. I have bad luck and I'm stuck with Roddy who won't leave me alone. I am so not annoying. I just love you so much, Mai. Mm, so yummy. <laughs> and they're such good girls. 
I hope you guys stay friends forever. Yes! Roddy immediately grabbed onto my neck. It was annoying, but we enjoyed tea time together. Oh yeah, Miss Svet Svetlana, your outfit when you, uh, come out of... Your outfit when you come out of Mai's magic box is so unique. It took me a m just a moment to register that. <laughs> I was like, what the hell are you talking about? It's like, oh yeah. Magic box? She was talking about the PC. I asked Iris your appear I asked Iris, your appearance is linked to something out of World's Odyssey. Your name was Lucille, wasn't it? Yeah, Arata told me about it. So that's how you looked in World's Odyssey. Arata mentioned something about the future and the past. I am dumb, so I don't really get it. Arata Mizunashi again. Seriously, who is he? Sorry. Oh, it's nothing it's, it's nothing for you to apologize over. Totally, you did nothing wrong. Come to think of it, your looks uh, uh Varta, was it? You mean Avatar? Yeah, so your avatar is always sitting down, Miss Fetlana, but why is that the case? Hmm. Arata told me that my setting was that I can't get out of my chair. Supposedly the chair is my father named Kimata. Why is your father a chair? Arata told me so, so I have no idea. No fair, I want to be Mari's chair too. Then we can be together forever. I can feel her warmth. Yep. You idiot. Mm. Man, the strings when you this that stings when you put it this so simply. What's the matter, Miss Fetwana? I think I drank too much tea. I'm going to go pee. Oh We see his avatar displayed in the real Svetwana. Ammo started to shine. Huh? Did I swap bodies? Mm -mm. What's the matter, Miss Fetlana? I want to go to the bathroom, but I can't get out of my chair. <laughs> the, the, now, he never talked, but... <clears throat> Don't worry, daughter. Your chair is talking? Is he really your father? Mm, I won't make it. Oh no, did you have to pee? Why don't you just do it while sitting on Kimada? I don't want to. Are there only children here? Oh, Kimada is saying something. Right, right, right. Fear not. <laughs> Fear not, daughter. I am a tree. I can absorb it. So... Do what you usually do, and just come at me. I don't want to even more! What do you mean any time? Uh... Oh, I'm so glad you're able to turn back. What was that all about? Miss Fetwana, don't be embarrassed. It's all in the past. Totally. Luckily, Mr. Kimana absorbed it all. That was the sound of her peeing. <laughs> yeah, and you changed everything. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and you changed everything, so it's all good. I didn't see anything. I want to go home. When I awoke, I found myself laying on a bed. I felt nauseous, ready to throw up. The room was spinning. My head twirled with it as if floating on my shoulders. As I panicked from confusion, a nurse and a doctor hurried to my room to explain what happened. As they told me their story, my eyes followed the needle in my arm to an IV bag set next to the bed. As the liquid dripped down the tube, I emerged from my dazed state, and I remember the task that lay ahead of me. I have my memories, but in my current state, there's not much I can do. There's no time to waste. According to the doctor, after I went home, I had supposedly fainted while speaking with Tokyo on the phone. Tokyo ran over to my apartment notifying my complex's management to call, an to call me an ambulance. Thanks to her, I'm still alive. Supposedly, I had been knocked out for a week, which meant my body was on thin ice. Performing the, de the 
the, the degrade is, to a certain extent, risking your life. I wish I could decide the time and place. I was rushed to the hospital, where they ran CT and MRI scans on me. Luckily, they came back relatively normal. Or so they told me after I had woken up. They suspected that I might have contracted acute uh, meningitis, so they gave me a prescription antibiotics and kept me bedridden. Thanks to the IV, I feel loads better, but my muscles feel like they've a troph what a bit. All right, maybe I'll take a walk around the hospital. I promised the doctor that I wouldn't overexert myself and received permission to wander around the hospital. I headed for the elevator to reach the ground floor and found myself surprised by how nice the faculties were. The hospital was enormous, clean, quaint, and well decorated. On the first floor, there was a restaurant, a convenience store, and a cafe too. Wow. You've even got a TV inside of the waiting room. Looks like they got a full list of patients today. We now bring you to our next story. In the last decade, video games have become an appealing hobby for gamers young and old alike. But the industry is set for a big change. Agile, the multinational tech company, has just announced the Alice Engine, a cloud-based system poised to take VR to the next level. <laughs> All right. Looks like the degrade worked. All my memories seem to be intact. But, of course, this is where it gets tough. <sighs> my, I'm glad it wasn't too serious. Miss Amo, you lost quite a bit of blood, but you don't look faced at all. Svetlana will do. I'm used to pain. Oops! Whoa! Hey, are you all right? Sorry about that. Oh, okay. Please forgive me. I wasn't watching where I was going. Oh, it's fine. I wasn't paying attention either. Oh! Are you an impatient here? Are you feeling ill? Should I call the nurse? Seal? Huh? Um, I'm weird, aren't I? That's why everyone avoids me. People hated me. Lucille, I... I mean, Miss Svetlana. You're not weird at all. I mean it. You fought so hard despite your horrible situation. You're not weird at all. Rather... There's no one else I can trust as much. Oh, wait, you don't even know about this, huh? Uh, sorry, never mind, forget it. Everyone has a personality. Some people may jeer you. But personality is a charm that others don't have. The fact that you're unique is an important status that won't make you compete with others. Gosh, I suck at this. I'm not good at praising others. I keep using terms relating to my profession. Huh? Are you... praising... me? Yeah. Oh, well, whatever. Let's just be simple, Svetlana. What? Be my friend. Why does it end? It ends so abruptly, like, be my friend, so I feel like he'll be cut off. But, uh, fun fact, Svetlana's ending was the first ending I got in Death and a Request, because you get a random ending your first time going through Death and a Request 1, and Spetwana was the first ending I got. As much as I tried to reload, reload the, the game and see, like, you know, if it would change. But it doesn't. You're destined to get a certain ending when you get there, so. Time for the Spetwana version. You're here. <laughs> Miss Spetwana, it's terrible. I hate to say it, but she... I already heard what happened. <laughs> My heart's so broken. Huh? But... 
There's something I want you to see. See? Sheena sent me a video last night while they killed her. Sadly, I only got it this morning. Because of the signal, I assume. <gasps> if only... I could have helped. She doesn't really give a warning, she's just like, here, have a look. Oh. That's not Damn it. God, I need to I need to slow down. Seriously, how can you make us watch that? Don't you think it upsets me too? <laughs> I'm not asking you to watch it again, but watch it till the end. Please. What was it you heard? Major muttered something par- Yes, and at the end. Can you make out what she's saying? That word. Me too. I fear what it may mean. It terrifies me. I'm beginning to think there's something big and sinister coming. Um, it was low. Understood. I shall review it. Thank you. Do you know where the headmistress is? At the dorm? I'll arrest her and put an end to things at Wordsworth. Otherwise, Sheena suffered for nothing. Yep. The car I used is parked outside of town. Tomorrow we'll leave this town and take the headmistress with us. Don't worry. Just in case, I won't mention you to the headmistress. I'll make sure she knows it's me who wants her head. I have this video as my ace. I'm heading to the headmistress's office now. To be safe, let's not talk anymore today. Meet tomorrow by the dorm entrance. Oh, she happened? Gone. Um... It didn't want to play the scene for me. I think my game fucking glitched the hell out, but it didn't want to play the scene of Svetlana going to... What was that just now? ...the... to the headmistress. So I don't know why not. But we have this. All the room's curtains were closed. Within the dark room I passed the time, in the light of a lamp resting on the table. All done preparing for Japan. All that's left. It's for Midra to be brought to justice. <laughs> Sheena. Oh, Sheena. <laughs> How could they do something so awful? Not like this. Not like this. The cult has claimed this town for itself. For everyone in Japan. We must put an end to them. For Sheena. For my. And for every victim. My? Strange, they're early. Okay, I'll be off. Oh, it's the cult. Oh, shoot, I have to run. Stab. Ah, ouch! What? The follower, without speaking, had taken the dagger in his hand and suddenly stabbed my side. Ah! My legs buckle from the sharp pain and lower body cramps, and I collapse where I stood. Didn't think they'd go this far. Imagine, like, for Kaede. <laughs> Be funny if that one just came in with a gun and started blasting. Just like, nah, enough knives. And why I'm being specific with Kaede is because her dad is a, you know, police detective. You know, they got the pistols. Stop! Stop! No. That's right. It wasn't just Mitra. These guys as well. They also killed Sheena so cruelly. I let my cart down too much. You idiot. 
My and the others are in danger. What should I do? I can't stand. I'm going to be killed here. I can't go and protect those girls. Then, even a little... Damn. Artoria! I tell you, the old voice actresses are just like coming back, like, we're gonna show you how you really do the screams. Not without a fight! I showed off the red cylinder I had taken from the man in the black outfit. Dynamite. <laughs> the black clothed man panicked and tried to escape, but I crawled along the floor and grabbed on with a death grip. This ends now! I won't let you hurt them! My uh. Roddy Lillian I'm sorry Why was it doing that? I look away and I see that it's skipping. Why? Why on God's Green Earth was it skipping backlog? I mean, they blew up, so... It doesn't... Well, that's the end of Svetlana's stuff now. Time to move on.